Yeah, and Leo is going to be one of those players that has a cohort of SD players behind him. Just so many people. I remember when he took down Charlie, just the noise that erupted from this place. As soon as he had done it, it made its way onto Twitter. It was nearly broke my speakers is all I can say. That was... That was raucous a couple of weeks ago. Rip any of those headphone users. But, um, here today, but he also has, you know, other options. He doesn't just have Mega Man. He's also no. got most of the Mii characters, too. Yeah, Mii Gunner is a character that he can use. And that's something that SoCal's just not used to. No, it isn't. Like, I would expect something like that off the East Coast. You go ahead and you talk about the, the Brawler characters out there, too. Or, sorry, Brawler um, Mii fighters out there, too. But um, out here, it's not as common. And I think he definitely has that matchup experience for it. So it is going to be the Mega Man this time. A bit of a zoner battle. Projectiles versus projectiles. Lemons, which I swear I'm allergic to after going ahead and seeing a Mega Man that's really good. And Marvelous Marco, arrows, bombs, boomerangs. Working it out with that so far. Both characters already opening up with those projectiles. But... Wow, actually, I thought he was going to go ahead and get punished by Marcos, but he wasn't able to capitalize afterwards. Yeah, third leaf shield from Leo in such a short time. He throws them out real quick. He catches the bomb. A master of projectiles himself. Goes ahead and puts that shield pressure on it. Back away because he knows it's not safe if he, le if he leaves those leaves right in front of him. Goes and lemons him. Leaf shield number five as he come in, but the boomerang will interrupt. Good interruption. Marcos thinking with that forethought. Keeping on the side of it right there. He has the crash bomb. Forward smash. He's not going to let him hit it. Yeah, you can only tether for a limited time. It was a really good idea, though. Good bomb combinations from that. Marcos keeping this a really close game. Fair. Oh, he had a chance to go ahead. No tech, actually. But Marcos not able to go ahead and capitalize with the patented and very usual jab jab setup he uses. Set the back air is going to go ahead and keep that first stock. MM Leo going up a stock. Quickly just pulls out that metal blade. And you can tell this is Leo with a victory on his mind. The only thing that every player usually has, victory. Nothing short. Marcos actually now going ahead and he's got a shield. I forgot to even think about that. He can go ahead and block most of these projectiles without, you know, actually shielding. Good back air from the set. And then Leo keeping him off the stage. He's connected four projectiles in a row. This man does not miss. It, feels, it seems like. Okay, except that. With the lemons, just Marco in the corner of Frozen has to formulate a plan. He's working with that. This is actually really hard. It's actually looking like one of those, you know, you actually watch the, the games that Mega Man from, 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 and he goes in and sees one of those bosses for it. He's actually playing it like he's a battle master. I, I mean, love it. Leo is making it look like a single player game right now. <laughs> and he's just fighting the boss, Marvelous Marco. Oh, he tried for that hard shot. Good parry. Another parry. He's got, a, he's got a crash bomb on top of his head. He's going to shield it. Good on Marcos to have the awareness to go ahead and be like, I don't have to go ahead and challenge you with the bomb on my head. I'm just going to back away. Good outward tech on the Zare and the back air to press his advantage state again. Trying to go and find the kill. He finds it after the third forward air. It was so fast. Marcos having a hard time reacting to it. Yeah, one of San Diego's finest showing why he is that way. The one and only M.M. Leo. Back, a down throw, actually. He has to try to find it. He goes for a Hail Mary and not able to go ahead and find it. I think after Marco finds that grab, will be very close to the kill in a couple of moments. Oh, another crash bomb finds him off the stage. Oh, I thought for a second because he was facing the wrong way, he might not make it back. He finds a kill, stabbing him right through the stage. Cheeky option for Marco there and really ingenious way of getting it done. I like how you say that, cheeky. Good parry right there, actually very cheeky too. Good forward tilt out there. He has to go ahead and rack on some more percentage there. MM Leo really pushing his advantage really well. Yeah, especially with them lemons. Can't really afford too many more projectile trades. Has to go in, force his way, or at least pick a moment to. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, MM Leo really moving in the air. That movement really doing well for him. The landing boomerang conversion. And that spin fine. attack towards the ledge will force him into an awkward situation. Gets him off the stage there. MM Leo can capitalize. The crash bomb. He just barely did, doesn't challenge it. Great play from Marcos. Back on the stage now. Sarah allows for a tech chase, but Leo escapes the danger. Keeping him off on the side there. Throws the boomerang. Not able to miss, but it's always coming back. Keeping that idea up. 
keeping him off the side of the stage there. He's got the crash bomber off there. Oh, Tries to wait it out, but he's feeling with the bomb. Wait, the, bomb. Save him. the bomb saves him. He gets off the side. I almost forgot about it. Flows him off the stage, but he's still on this disadvantage state. The throw. Off the side, but he's able to DI it just perfectly. Missing with the crash bomb there. It's actually a surprise for Marco. It was Marco. I think he was planning on him actually having that connect. Thanks to a bomb X Machina, Marco's still very much in this. Moving back forward, he's trying to go ahead and find his way into it. Walking forward. Finding his way, he's got a little bit more percent. Oh back air, that's going to clean it up. No question, with all that extra bit of damage that the Lemons had piled on, he all of a sudden wasn't at 140, he was at 150 before you can think of a game, game plan. Boom, 160, 170. Back air certainly going to take it from the right half of the stage. So that's usually what it is. You go ahead and you chip, 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 and then finally you just go ahead and munch. He's gone. Keeping out with the Mega Man and the Toon Link. Marvelous Marco ahead. certainly capable of making this comeback, and we've seen it before. One of those players that really does well when he has to adapt, when he can adapt. But Leo is a master of the mix-up. I always think that it, sometimes it feels to me that Marvelous Marco kind of just uses the first game as the download, and then he goes ahead and adapts game two. Because it's very often that he'll lose the first game, and then he adapts so hard in game two, it ain't even fair. He's like a computer, I swear. He's more robotic than, than MM Leo is sometimes, I think. Oh! But still, MM Leo is still as cold and robotic as his character suggests. Absolutely destroying him with that first stock there. Yeah, an uncharacteristic error there from Marco. Just the wrong option, and he had a few seconds to think about it. Really good setup on that. He's just jumping away, moving in and out. It just seems like he just has all the answers at the moment. Like the cheat sheet in middle school. Gets the trip and outranges that down tilt too. With spacing for Marco. Ooh, actually, okay, working out from that now. Marco's still trying to go ahead and turn up, but it's, you can definitely see he's now trying to push a little hard. And MM Leo is definitely going to go ahead and capitalize on it. Got the lemons, keeps him off the side of the stage there. Able to go ahead and push. He backs away and then pushes suddenly. Oh, he tried to go ahead and get the downer. But it gets the force smash. There's two force smashes that actually connected. And to the back air, MM Leo just cleaning this man up. Yeah, call it lucky timing on the Crash Bomber, but there's no luck in following up. That's all practice from MM Leo. I know, it was surprising. He actually connected two times with the Crash Bomber. That was definitely a very different MM Leo than we see from the first game. Ooh, down air. Marco's still not going down without a fight. Always got something to go ahead and learn. Always something to improve. And you'll love to see it. Still gets out of dodge. Uses Rush. And once again, float over Marco to the point where he needs to. There's the lock. That should be the stock. Yeah, the lock to the stock. I like it. And he goes ahead and just uh, movement around it. Gets hit by the Crash Bomber, though. Tries to almost get hit by the forward smash. The forward smash is going to go and keep it. The Crash Bomb on the side of the stage. This is such an interesting conversion of things that are happening, actually. MM Leo is not one of those Mega Mans that you would go ahead and think of. You think Mega Man, you think, let me go get some ramen. But not around with MM Leo. Always keeping things exciting, always interesting. Yeah, in the corner, though. Marco throws out that F smash. You know he's just going ham for it right now. He needs to go ahead and find himself a kill. Looks that into the grab. Another Metal Blade, this time just inches away on the back air. Good up, he's coming out for Marvelous Marco. The movement, I love the steps. He's just moving back and forth like that. It's like his own way of getting himself comfortable. Or his own way of kind of just like stepping and boxing. Good up, Smash. Oh, the air dodge in. It's looking really rough. This is going to be really, really hard for Marvelous Marco to go ahead and survive. He's at 130%. MM Leo at 109%, though. So it's very possible he could try to go and take a stock, but MM Leo is playing that thick robot. Mega Man fighting to save the universe, taking the game, taking the set, and that's going to be it. Yeah, Leo doing a great job of just standing